coming, but that was no surprise. It's hard to keep your eye on the ball through the bottom of a glass. I just hoped I could get to Fabiana and Giovanna in time. I knew if I didn't get to the girls soon, they'd be leaving this place with either a price on their heads or a tag on their toes. The doors had been chained shut. I didn't need my Portuguese for Beginner's phrase book to work out what was going on. The guy making the noise was the boss. He was sending them around to cut me off from the other side. And sure enough, a few seconds later, I had some company on the dance floor. Another way out through the VIP lounge. Rich fools love a private exit. Not good. Some guys took Giovanna and Fabiana. What? Jesus, Max. Hey, I'm on my way. No, no, no. Stay in the chopper. We'll need a way out of here. I'll go find God. the girls. Got it. They, they came out there. They went that way into the lounge. Come here. Go, go. Get up. Get up. You can't stay here. I need you to lock this door behind you. Get everybody else out of here. Son of a bitch. unfinished business and all I could think about was my unfinished scotch. Ah, don't shoot, por favor. You an American? Sure. Yeah, I'm from Steele, North Dakota, just outside of Bismarck. Andrew Stetling. This is some place, huh? They, they told me it was a little fresh, but I wasn't expecting things to be quite like this. No? No, see, I've... I've seen things. I was a cop for 25 years. I've seen men run over by combines. I've seen husbands who just ate their wives, but a gunfight in a disco? You were a cop? Yeah, just retired. Oh, what a life that was. And it gave me the money to raise a family. Oh, I got a girl at college in Wisconsin and a boy who's playing football for Minnesota State. You want to see their picture? No, no, that's all right. Oh. Sounds nice. Listen, you stay in here. Don't be a hero. Oh, I won't. I'm retired. Happy, healthy ex-cop? Give me a break. 
It looked loud and expensive enough to be Fabiana's. Her fashion sense didn't leave a whole lot of room for imagination, let alone food. The girl sure knew how to draw the eye, and maybe that was the problem. But at least I was heading in the right direction. Whatever the hell they were arguing about, it was time for me to add my two cents. For all I knew, they were gone already. I couldn't stop now. We're still alive, at least. This crew was starting to look a lot like friends of the gate crashers at last week's party. These guys had some real issues with the Broncos. They were back to finish the job. I figured it was time to start doing mine. This wasn't the time to be second-guessing myself. I had to hurry or I'd lose them. They were headed for the helicopter pad. I had to get to the roof before Giovanna and Fabiana left on a one-way flight. I knew this was going to be a bad idea, but in the continued absence of any good ones, I decided to go with it. What a view. I guess my time in Sao Paulo wasn't quite the paid holiday of the sun I'd been promised. At least I was getting shot at by a bit of class of psychopath. These guys weren't messing around. This place was like Baghdad with G-strings. A couple of more seconds and I'd have given some poor street cleaner a crappy start to his day. Now, I had a ride to catch. Marcelo, but he's here now. Yeah, don't worry about me, homie. I'm just the guy paying you lots of money to protect. You have what you're drinking? Bet your ass I was. You try staying in there for five minutes sober. Hey, oh yeah. Look, there they are. Quick, get after them. Are you crazy? You can't just leave her. Max, you gotta do something. Come on, get the rifle back there.
Clearly, somebody wanted these girls bad. Or maybe they just assumed the Broncos' security team consisted of more than a drunk American has-been and a Brazilian never was who should have paid more attention in flying school. Either way, I needed to find Giovanna before they did. 